West Palm Beach, located in the middle of Palm Beach County, is a major tourist attraction in South Florida. It's gained international renown for its stunning beaches and fascinating historical sites. Join Vacation as we present the best things to do in West Palm Beach, Florida. Explore the Square There's something for everyone in the square, whether they're in the market for retail therapy, culinary delights, or a good time. Located in the heart of West Palm Beach, the Rosemary Square, or The Square, is a shopping and entertainment complex with a Mediterranean feel. There are plenty of stores selling apparel, jewelry, and gifts, restaurants serving cuisine from throughout the world, gourmet food markets where guests can assemble their own meals, and an AMC theater showing amazing IMAX films. Weekends in The Square typically feature live music from regional acts playing in the plaza's open-air amphitheater. Taking a stroll across The Square is like visiting the town square of an ancient European nation, complete with historic buildings, grand fountains, and sidewalk cafes. It's a great place to spend the day if you want to take advantage of the free Wi-Fi, listen to some live music, and watch the world go by. Norton Museum of Art the Norton Museum of Art, founded by Elizabeth Norton and Ralph Hubbard in 1941, houses over 7,000 works of art. There are parts of the museum devoted to European art, American art, and Chinese art, among others. Visitors can see works from the 19th and 20th centuries, as well as works by American and European sculptors, and unique jade and bronze objects from China. Picasso, Monet, and Gauguin paintings, as well as sculptures by William Zorak and Theodore Rosnak, are just a few of the highlights of the museum's permanent collection. Collection. There's a beautiful courtyard and sculpture garden outside if you need some fresh air. Meanwhile, the rotating displays always provide something new and interesting to the museum. These displays include a wide variety of topics, from images of the Black Panther to vintage toys. Every visit to the Norton Museum of Art might be different because of the museum's commitment to its temporary exhibits. Downtown West Palm Beach at Clamata Street For those interested in West Palm Beach's past, Clamata Street is where it all began. Walking westward from Flagler Drive along the Intracoastal Waterway, you'll find a vibrant collection of shops, bars, restaurants, and attractions that reflect the area's indigenous culture. The pizza at Lenora's wood-burning oven is excellent, and Greece has the best burger in town. Visit Rocco's Tacos and Tequila Bar when you're in the mood for Mexican, and don't forget to get some of the restaurant's homemade guacamole. Another Another option is to visit the botanically themed Sorbonne Kitchen, where you can find the speakeasy style The Lab, which serves original cocktails on the second floor. Visit Clematis Social, a chic nightclub in the middle of all the action, on Clematis Street after dark. Clematis by Night is a weekly event that takes place from 6 to 9 p.m. every Thursday and involves live music from some of the best local bands, discounted food and drinks, and an electric atmosphere. Antique Row Art and Design District The renowned Antique Row in West Palm Beach is home to more than 50 unique stores selling anything from antiques to unique gifts. Antiques, fine art, decorative items, period deco, contemporary furniture, and much more span the centuries from the 17th to the 20th in this delightful neighborhood. A number of well-known publications, including Architectural Digest, House Beautiful, Art and Antiques, and The New York Times, have highlighted this lovely retail neighborhood as one of the best antiques buying destinations in the eastern U.S. Check out the West Palm Beach Antique Row Art and Design District, where the world's top decorators have been making their purchases for the past three decades and get yourself some souvenirs. Henry Morrison Flagler Museum the area around West Palm Beach has a long and interesting past, and visiting the Flagler Museum is one of the best ways to explore it. It's housed in a beautiful vintage Edwardian townhouse across the lagoon in Palm Beach. The beautiful house is still one of the best attractions in West Palm Beach, Florida, even without the museum it once housed. The Flagler family has owned this beautiful historic site for decades. It was erected by Henry Flagler as a gift for his third wife, and the couple resided there until Henry's death in 1913. The museum is is spread out across 100,000 square feet and contains 75 individual exhibit rooms. This must-see landmark is so magnificent, it's been likened to several European palaces. Okihili Park a hidden gem in West Palm Beach, Okihili Park is a destination that provides its visitors with access to a diverse range of exciting activities. It's convenient for early birds and late risers alike, as it's open from dawn till dusk every day. The Okihili Nature Center is the most well-known part of the park because of its abundance of wildlife. Family groups flock there to experience the museum's hands-on wildlife exhibits. Once you've gotten all the details you need from the Nature Center, you can glide onto the Okihili Nature Trail. The path passes through a forest that spans 90 acres and is home to oaks, 
pines and palm trees. Be on the lookout for local birds and other forms of wildlife. Another feature is the butterfly garden. Don't forget to bring your camera and enjoy the show of vivid butterflies flitting in the air above you. McCarthy's Wildlife Sanctuary McCarthy's Wildlife Sanctuary is a great place to visit if you enjoy animals, as it's home to more than 170 species, including lions, tigers, panthers, and lemurs. Unlike at Lyon County Safari or the Palm Beach Zoo, visitors to McCarthy's Wildlife Sanctuary can go quite close to the animals and even pet some of the smaller ones. Guests on each tour can have the opportunity to hold a variety of animals, from newborn alligators to pythons. Those who share McCarthy's passion for rescuing abused or neglected wildlife will understand and respect his work. The gardens are kept in excellent condition, and the tour guides provide interesting and informed commentary. Keep in mind, appointments are required, so plan ahead. Open seven days a week, tours of the complex cost 35 bucks for adults and 25 for children, and take around two hours. But there's a strict no children under five policy in effect. Kravis Center for the Performing Arts The Kravis Center for Performing Arts is West Palm Beach's premier facility for live theater, dance, opera, and music performances. With a seating capacity of 4,200 throughout its four theaters, including an outdoor amphitheater. Every year, the theater hosts about 550 events, including musicals, outdoor concerts, and performances in the genres of gospel, jazz, classical, and dance. The cast of Cats, the Miami City Ballet, William Shatner, and Michael Buble are just some of the famous performers and guests who have appeared here. Although there have been complaints from some prior visitors about uneven sound quality and and poor sight lines, depending on where you sit, tourists consistently rave about the wide variety of shows available. Ann Norton Sculpture Garden The magnificent Ann Norton Sculpture Garden can be found on the property of the artist Ann Weaver Norton's former residence. Located in the heart of West Palm Beach, this landmark museum showcases more than 100 sculptures by this legendary artist from her early career in the 1900s through her later work in the 1980s. These one-of-a-kind constructions can be found in the grounds, the garden, and in the famous artist's studio that once belonged to Norton. Details about the creation process, such as the medium and year, are available to curious onlookers. Information about the artist's early life, education, lasting legacy, and other artistic activities are also available. The the Sculpture Garden also serves as an outdoor theater for occasional performances of Shakespeare and other plays. More than 250 types of palm trees are on display in these gardens, making it a perfect spot for a relaxing stroll. Northwood Village This little neighborhood, situated north of downtown West Palm Beach, features a great assortment of fun dining options, small galleries, and a monthly wine promenade. Visit Northwood's hidden artistic treasures and experience the town's laid-back hippie ambiance. This area has everything an urban explorer might want, from cutting-edge art galleries to gourmet restaurants and unique boutiques. Stop into Harold's Coffee House for a photo op in front of the vibrant murals. In addition to their signature Kyoto-style cold brew coffee, this trendy spot in West Palm Beach also offers freshly pressed juices, kombucha, and an array of teas and baked goods. Don't forget to visit Herbs and Earth, a women-owned metaphysical store that sells over 300 spices, fair trade herbs and teas, roots, hand-rolled sage bundles, and more. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to West Palm Beach? If so, did we miss any of your favorites? And if not, do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.